Jay Guruji Maharaj, thank you, Maharaj. Um, um, Maharaj knows I'm addicted to Indian chai. And, uh, you know, this morning I was like, I hope that I get a lot of chai. And Maharaj blesses me to do seva at the kids' room. And I think I already got five uh, chai prashad. And I've never gotten that much chai, so I think that's where I need to be <laughs> from now on. And it's his grace that he put me there. Um, but uh, like Auntie said, uh, what could have been, and uh, true to her words, um, I know for a fact that my life was supposed to end in 2018. Uh, Maharaj showed it in a dream. Um, and uh, I don't want to go into the detail because it's a very long satsang, but um, um, he showed me that uh, a lot of people around me in that dream um, uh, there was this dark force that was coming and a lot of people uh, were being killed by this dark, dark force and when he got to me, um, he dropped his weapon. And then um, I didn't see Guruji Maharaj in physical form in that uh, dream, but I saw his swarup. Um, and of course, that uh, I was um, intuitively told by Maharaj to share how he initiated me and I and I know a lot of people have heard it, but as we know, a lot of times Maharaj gets you to repeat your satsang um, for reasons he only knows. And every time I go into my head thinking, well, I've shared it like thousands of times and everybody knows. But then I remember Varun Uncle satsang where, you know, he thought in his Maharaj told him to get up and share for the 10th time on that day, one day. And then, you know, he, he was thinking, I just shared it like half an hour ago. Why is Guruji getting me? You know, like Maharaj says, leave your mind out with your shoes. Don't come in with your mind. And the mind gets into that. And my mind does always. And I, but just he, what a grace that you put me back into that satsang. And where after he had that thought, for three years, Maharaj didn't ask him to share satsang. And he knew that that's why. Because we, we you know, we have this that fools us. But anyway, um, I was born... Um, in Iran, um, and I was in Iran till I was 13, had a very uh, amazing special bond with my grandma. Uh, my grandma plays a huge role uh, in my spiritual journey. Um, and uh, basically when we came um, in 1998, six years later, I was guided to go to Iran, and my, fam my mom didn't let me. And uh, you know, this voice within said, uh, tell your mom, grandma will die. And if you don't see her, you'll never forgive her. So those words I spoke, I was in Iran. And the first night that I slept at my grandmother's house, uh, Maharaj blessed me. And uh, I had a live darshan of Maharaj. Um, I had uh, a bald-headed man in, uh, stand right in front of me, 4 or 5 in the morning. Um, and for 15 years, I thought I had seen a ghost. Um, I saw him exactly as uh, Maharaj looks like, but I didn't see his physical eyes. I saw a vertical third eye. And so when I told my grandma that morning what I had seen, she said, he's always around me. Uh, don't worry, he's always around me. And then uh, I came back to Canada. Three months later, my grandma passed away. So uh, we may think that, oh, I'm initiated in 2018, but Maharaj has been looking after us. And of course, the soul has been with the guru for lifetimes. Uh, he only knows for how long. but. Uh, it wasn't time for me to know of Maharaj, and it took 15 years later, but I had to go through a very dark phase in my life. Um, like I said, I was meant to uh, not go past 2018. Um, I had ailments uh, that started with blood um, issues. I was uh, ill for six years. I was bedridden uh, for two years and seven months, and uh, we traveled, me and my mom, to Germany, to Iran, many countries to seek help, and no doctor could help. Um, and it was finally when we came back to Canada, and I put my white flag up, and I just remember saying, you know, if this is my life supposed to be spent on bed, um, be it. I, don't, I, I had no more fight in me. Um, I was tired of being tired, and uh, I was just done. And, I, and that was when... Uh, you know, uh, Maharaj took over, um, had a vision of him, 
Um, I said, I know I'm not crazy, because I was in and out of mental institutions at that time. Um, and uh, I know what I had seen at my grandmother's house, and I had this uh, telepathic message that I should pray to the being that I had seen in 2003 in my grandmother's house. And I did, and I said, if you know, I'm not crazy, I know my grandma confirmed, you help me. And uh, that was uh, on 1st of uh, uh, July, 2018. Um, I'm going to make it very short. He came through. Uh, he took me to a bookstore. And uh, at that bookstore, I grabbed a book um, that was called The Divine Light uh, by Anita Kumar. And the book came home with me, never touched it. Um, 7th of uh, or sorry, 5th of July, I have a dream darshan of Maharaj. Um, I see him uh, uh, sending his light in my body, all in dream, and then uh, I fainted, and then I see Maharaj sleeping on a um, bed right beside me. I woke up, I even wrote it, wrote it in my notebook, who's this man, a uh, bald-headed man sitting, and he was wearing a long dress, I didn't know what a chola was. I didn't know any of that. So my question was, why is this man wearing a dress and he's sitting beside me? Um, two days later, I get guided telepathically to read the book. When I read the book, in that book it says, Guruji's Lord Shiva. Again, he tells me to search. That's when I see after 15 years the vertical third eye and everything he connects. Um, like beautifully, Commander Uncle says, whatever Maharaj wants done, he will plant everything perfectly for that, for the dots to connect and um, for the task to be completed. And uh, so anyway, I just said, you know, I don't care who you are, I believe in you. I just need something special. And the next line that I read, literally, when I said those words, the next line that I read was, uh, Guruji's special day is July 7th. And I had opened the book on July 7th. Um, many years of ailments vanished in one week. Uh, of course, it took one year of coming to satsangs nonstop to fully heal from all those ailments. But Maharaj is the god of uh, turning the impossible to possible. Um, when I, he gave me permission to tell my mom finally that uh, um, you know who has come into my life and how mis mystically I got healed when I told her. She started crying, and I'm thinking, she's thinking I'm crazy. What is she talking about? Um, what is a guru? You know, what is she talking about? And uh, so, you know, when I told her that, she just started crying, saying that grandma had told her and had told another aunt of mine that this bald-headed man with a third eye uh, appears in front of her all the time. So, um, he comes to us when we're in need, and that's when he came for me. I was in need of him, and uh, he healed me of everything, and life has been a satsang since that day. It's really difficult to talk about um, the journey that I experienced or the grace that he showered on me, only Maharaj knows. But if you are here, if you're invited, if you're chosen, which you are, you are taken care of, uh, we don't need to worry about anything, and if anything today, our mantra should be only shukrana with what's going on in the world, with what people are experiencing, nothing but shukrana. The fact that we are walking, the fact that we're breathing, the fact that you're out of bed without the help of anyone, these are all shukranas. We all have satsangs every moment, but we think satsang should be, you know, Maharaj manifesting in a physical form in front of me, and that's a satsang. Um, thanks to him, he puts me. He put me in that suffering where, even for me, putting food in my own mouth is a satsang. And I hope that he never makes me forget what I went through. Um, you know, because I just want to say shukrana to him. We're so blessed. Um, he's the god of all religions. I was born into a Muslim of uh, culture. He's the god of all. Uh, we have, you know, other non. Uh, <laughs> non-Indians and of course it's growing um, but anything is possible he's so amazing and um, he's our father at the end of the day and our guru and uh, direct connection is what we have to do that's it, just direct connection and he takes care of uh, 
everything. He's here more than ever. Um, just because we don't see his physical form, that doesn't mean that he's not here. He's taking care of us. And again, anything is possible with Maharaj. All we have to do is the more, uh, the more you trust and the more you have faith, the more he showers his grace. That has just been my own experience. So, Shukrana Maharaj. Thank you for blessing us. Jai Guruji Maharaj. Thank you.